Now we turn the lens of time back to the early 60s for a look at New York's Greenwich Village. Greenwich Village is mostly a state of mind. For the Sapokanakan Indians, it was a happy hunting ground, and it still is, although the Indians are gone, because happy hunting grounds are places of the spirit. It was here that one free soul, Tom Paine, gave America the crisis, and another discovered broccoli on Bleecker Street. The village is an island of color and calm, lying somewhere between Wall Street and Union Square. In 1916, the painter John Sloan declared it an independent republic, and it is that, self-reliant and not easily influenced. Age doesn't matter here, because most who live here wonder and search. Some are poets, some prognosticators, but in the village, everybody's young inside. Poets and philosophers have always flocked to the village. Here Joe Gould wrote, in the winter I'm a Buddhist, in the summer I'm a nudist. Painters flock here too, and all schools of art, abstract expressionism, romantic realism, drippers and splatterers, the best and the worst can be found here. Washington Square Park is the center of things on Sunday afternoons. past 200 years has been a dueling field, a potter's field, a parade ground, an execution ground, and a health resort. Today it's just a park with trees and benches and seesaws, and that's the way the village likes it. With the passage of time, more and more of the old village landmarks are being chipped away and replaced. But the ones that remain, the old studios, the converted stables and carriage houses, and the last of the city's gas lights are visible reminders of an earlier chapter in the history of New York. Historians say the six shooter, silent movies, and the steamboat all got their start in Greenwich Village. And who knows, maybe stickball too. Thank you.